in-game ads the next big thing? 2.7 billion video gamers worldwide. How's that for an emerging advertising market? With that many potential views, it's no wonder that advertisers are falling over themselves trying to find ways to advertise in video games. Contextualized in-game ads are the way forward. Are companies like Advertsy, Bitstack, and Anzu poised to make it big or fall apart? Hello there, my name is Joy from Studio Invest, and we're here to discuss video games, ads, and the exploding world of in-game advertising. What are in-game ads, and what's the potential? Let's start with some basics. The market for video game is gigantic and growing rapidly. In fact, new research from Nielsen found that 82% of global consumers play video games and watch video game content during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic lockdowns. Predictions say that the video game industry will be worth more than the movie and the music industry combined within a few years. Netflix has been saying since 2019 that it's more worried about competition from video games than any other streaming service. So let's start by talking about verticals. But before we begin, why don't you give the old like button a smash? Better yet, double down and subscribe to the channel. It helps you, helps us, and even better, it's totally free. It's a win-win. After all, the whole point is for us to bring you die-hard information on new markets and emerging opportunities. Now back to the video game sales vertical. Advertisers use the idea of verticals to organize and target their advertising. A sales vertical is a particular industry or market. Think of a vertical as a slice of a cake. Once an advertiser has that particular slice in mind, he can cater his ads to reach every piece of it. Now, eat it. Marketers are always on the lookout for new and emerging sales verticals. When they find one, the race is on to find new ways to capitalize and become the dominant advertising force in that space. Untapped potential with 2.7 billion video gamers worldwide the market for in-game ads is already huge. It's still not as big as social media advertising. There are over 3.6 billion people in that market, but video game potential is even bigger. There are already 3.8 billion smartphone users out there. And as the current generation of kids gets older, that market will only keep growing. What's the point of all those numbers? Just this, the video game market is already worth 160 billion dollars and is projected to reach 180 billion dollars by the end of the year. It will only go up and the wide variety of demographics of video gamers and mobile gamers mean it could get way up. Any company that can establish itself as the go-to place for in-game advertising will be poised to make mind-boggling profits. By far, the hottest segment of the video game market is the mobile gaming which was worth $77 billion just by itself in 2020. Mobile gaming grew by 13.3% last year. For advertisers, mobile gaming has some huge advantages. Games are generally easier and quicker to develop and deploy, leading to more opportunities for in-game ads. In-game advertising challenges. Despite the huge potential, in-game advertising is still relatively untouched so far. Advertisers have to develop a new way of displaying ads for video games. Mobile games first tried to use the mid-game or mid-video model of YouTube ads, but that disrupts the gameplay. And I know all the gamers out there, feel me on this one, we don't want ads in the middle of the freaking game! Now, give us a like for all the gamers out there. You can't show ads that destroy the gameplay. That, that's not a good way to do business. You're losing business, not gaining it. A new generation of advertisers like Adverty and Bitstack came up with a new model, contextualize in-game ads. By working closely with game developers, these advertisers blend the ads seamlessly with the in-game environment. Want an example? Check this out. A real-world ad on an in-game billboard. 
looks neat, right? But there are still at least two problems with in-game advertising. How do you measure viewability? Advertisers sell ad space in part by guaranteeing viewability. That's why ads on the TV during the Super Bowl in the USA sell for millions of dollars. That's an event with guaranteed millions of views. But how do you measure in-game ads? And if you try to put an ad in subtly, how do you know a gamer will see it? How do you connect advertisers with developers? If in-game ads are going to become the next big thing, companies need to connect potential advertisers with developers. You can't have in-game ads without the people who build the games. You also need to guarantee something called brand safety, ensuring that an advertiser's content won't be displayed in a game that doesn't fit. Those questions pose a big challenge for upcoming in-game advertising companies, but some of them think they found the answer. The in-game advertising market is changing rapidly. But here are some of the top players as of February 2021. These are companies we believe have a huge growth potential within the industry. Adverti. First up is Adverti. And let us just say, we are excited about this one. In the interest of total transparency, some of us here at Studio Invest actually own stock in Adverti. That's how bullish we are on their future. Founded in Sweden in 2016 by Niklas Spekos, Adverti focuses on contextualized in-game ads. Adverti's new technology could solve the in-game ad viewability problem and their partnership with Immobile and Verizon demonstrates an impressive and growing network to connect marketers and game developers. Adverti boasts over 100 million potential viewers in its network already and has promoted industry-leading brands like Coca-Cola and Lenovo. A big feather in Adverti's cap is the invention of an entirely new kind of in-game advertising, which we mentioned in their accomplishments, in menu ads. Adverti has the advantage of being first. First to develop in menu ads and one of the first companies back in 2016 to realize the enormous potential in contextualized in-game ads. They've also invested heavily in making their software development kit, SDK, easy for developers to use. One great example, Averti listed their SDK on the Unity Asset Store for free, making it easy for game developers to build games with Averti's monetization capabilities. Outlook. Are there any negatives? Only that so far Adverti hasn't been able to deliver the big revenue streams that everyone is hoping for. That's fairly common for startups in the growth phase, and Adverti is positioned extremely well for the future. But until the revenue increases, there's room for caution. Fast facts. Player reach, 100 plus million. Multi-platform reach, but a mobile first approach. Market cap as of this recording, 46.4 million dollars. Quarterly revenue, $12,000 as of Q3 2020. Achievements. What's so exciting about Adverti? Here's just a small list of their recent accomplishments. September 8th, 2020, Adverti unveils a new in-menu ad format. Customized ads can be played on game menus between gameplay, ensuring views without interfering with gameplay. Now that's more like it. November 24th, 2020, Averti received the first of two US patents for inventions allowing Averti to track impressions and views in game, potentially solving the viewability problem. December 11th, 2020. A partnership between Averti and Immobile gives Averti access to a well developed and industry leading global ad exchange. January 12th, 2021. Second US patent achieved. January 21st, 2021. Adverti appoints a chief financial officer, marking the company's rapid expansion. January 27th, 2021. Adverti enters a huge deal with the global huge company Verizon, giving Adverti access to all of the advertisers who market through Verizon Media, and giving Verizon Media a new outlet with in-game ads. February 10th, 2021. Founder Nicholas Bukas shifts his focus to product development, opening the door for advertising veteran Tobias Knutson to become CEO. Whew, now that's an impressive list of achievements in only a few months. Bitstack. Of course, Averti isn't the only kid on the block. Bitstack currently leads the competition. 
fighting with Adverti to get the best position for the expected boom in the in-game advertising market. Like Adverti, Bitstack emphasizes a contextual ad experience, placing in-game ads where they fit naturally in the game. You can actually see how that works in this super informative talk given by a Bitstack executive. We'll leave a link in the description for those of you that want to dive deeper. But for those of you that want to see some magic, look at this. Ah! What is this? Oh, it's a broken thumbs up button. <laughs> so, if you want to press the broken thumbs up to fix it, help us heal the thumb by pressing the thumb button now. Bitstack takes a similar approach to in-game advertising as Adverti. They've developed their own technology to connect game developers with advertisers. While their list of recent accomplishments might not be quite as impressive as Adverti's, Bitstack does have a couple of achievements worth mentioning. Outlook. Bitstack lacks some of the impressive technical patents and accolades that Averti has won. But Bitstacks is also a bit more advanced in the company lifecycle with demonstrated revenue and verified advertising quality. The future is bright for Bitstack, but like Averti, until the company reaches full profitability, questions will remain. Fast facts. In-house ad console. Multi-platform, but focused on gaming consoles. Market cap as of this recording, $33.87 million. And if you're wondering what I'm doing with this bell, there's nothing better than coming home after a long day and then pressing the bell icon to receive notifications on the next time we receive and make a video. So, press it. Achievements. First and foremost, Bitstack can demonstrate results. Riding the wave of video game growth in 2020, in part due to the pandemic, Bitstack experienced higher revenue than expected. The company isn't profitable yet, but is working to position itself for the future. Bitstack is also tackling the viewability problem. The company partnered with Moat by Oracle, an industry-leading analytics and reporting company, to verify their ad viewability and impressions. The results released in February 2021 were impressive. Bitstack performed over three times better than the industry benchmark. The takeaway is that when Bitstack says 2,000 people will see an ad, 2,000 people will see an ad. Giving companies the confidence to rely on Bitstack as a genuine advertising platform. Okay, so next up, we have two up and coming in-game advertising companies. First up is AdMix, Outlook. Admix sports an impressive and experienced team. The founder of Admix, Samuel Huber, was a former owner of an indie game developer company, while the chief operating officer is a former ad executive. Because of that experience, Admix prides itself on a developer-first approach. Admix doesn't claim to offer in-game ads, but something they can call is in-play ads. Admix also claims to have invented an completely new kind of in-play ad, virtual goods. Think of your typical product placement in a movie. James Bond's beloved Aston Martin, for example. Except that these virtual goods are interactive and could even be made crucial to the gameplay, like the Porsche in Cyberpunk 2077. Unlike Averty and Bitstack, Admix aims to sell large-scale in-game advertising opportunities through traditional ad networks, not through its own proprietary system. If it is successful, Admix will be able to distribute ads more quickly and easily and not be forced to act as a standalone ad agency. Fast facts. Venture Capital raised $8.5 million. Network of over 5,000 advertisers. Over 500 game developers. Achievements. The London-based company is solidly in the startup category, but just raised over $8 million and a serious A funding. They also just scored big with two hires, snagging former employees away from Spotify and Google. Michael Silberberg worked in ecosystem development, signaling that Admix is taking steps right now to prepare for the future. Look, I don't know much about the Silberberg guy, but, <laughs> but you know what we do have in Sweden? Sil. If you haven't tried it, it's a very nice cured fish. If you ever come to Sweden or Ikea, Try that out. 
riding the back of the video game pandemic boom. Admix saw monthly recurring revenue grow 10 times from January to September 2020. That benchmark allowed them to solicit and receive the huge Series A cash boost in fall 2020. Admix Software Development Kit supports the Unreal and Unity engines. Admix supports all platforms, but is heavily focused on mobile games with an SDK that's only one megabyte. So it's lightweight and easy to work with. Anzu.io While Admix is a London-based unit, the privately owned Anzu.io hails from Israel. The company began in 2018 and has already achieved significant success. Here you can see more examples of how their ad systems work. Fast facts. Venture Capital raised latest round $9 million from 13 investors, 46 employees, Xbox licensed in-game ad provider. Their biggest achievement so far? A partnership with networking giant WPP in November 2020, followed shortly thereafter by a $9 million US round of investment. That investment stemmed from a number of notable sources, including the Sony Innovation Fund and the Chicago Cubs investment arm. I know, pretty random, right? With their adoption of blended advertising, Anzu is positioned remarkably well. Despite the growing competition, the recent wave of funding means that Anzu can pour money into development while leveraging WPP's network to grow closer ties to developers as well as advertisers. So, did any of these companies have you intrigued? With the video game industry projected to reach over $257 billion by 2025, competition for in-game advertising will only increase. Do you think we made the right choice in betting on Averti? Or do you think that Anzu, BizStack, or Admix, or someone else entirely is the right choice to bet on? Comment down below and tell us your choice, who you bet on. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that the information was helpful for you to get to know the advertising companies in these areas. Now remember, as Matthew McConaughey said, it's a fugazi, a fugazi. It's, a, it's, a, it's in the air, it's not real. Uh, the Warren Buffett, Jimmy Buffett, nobody knows where the stock will go. So you can see that oh, it's very speculative. So before you invest in anything, be sure to do your own research. And we are not financial advisors, just sharing our thoughts. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.